Hey everybody, it's Craft Studios, and I'm back with a very special video, and this is my 20,000 view video. I just reached over 20,000 views on my total views, and I have 21,000 something views already, which is crazy. And I decided to come out with a custom series of minifigures for you guys. Lego minifigures, Craft Studio series. And before I start this video, I'd like to give a shout out to my best friends on YouTube. Let's start out with the Brick Forum. You guys are awesome. I love your videos. I met you guys on the Lego Cordux, then they went to Lego Reviews today, and then now they're they are at um the Brick Forum. And I really hope you guys do well on your new channel. Um I I can't believe you guys keep getting like strikes and stuff. I don't get how you guys get have to start a new channel. I think you guys were doing just well on the Lego Cordex from the start. Um, but yeah, you guys, I hope you guys do well. Keep going. And, and next to Lego Brothers Reviews, you guys gave me a shout out. Captain America's Avenging Cycle Review. You guys are awesome. And I hope you guys get more sets and unboxings. Your unboxings are pretty cool too. So keep going. Random videos 567. That's one of my friends I actually met at school. They have a YouTube account, and I hope they get way more subscribers. I have a um, vlog with them on his channel. It's my featured video right now, and you can check that out. And there's two more. London3876. He is an awesome guy. He's giving me a shout-out. He actually made a review just so I could see it, and I actually think I might pick up that set. And he's just an awesome guy. I want all you guys to check him out, and... Yeah, watch his reviews. His reviews are pretty awesome. And last but not least, Lego Harry Potter Freak. He makes tons of comments on my channel. And he's a great supporter. He's awesome. And I hope he does well. I love his stop motions of the Harry Potter stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. I know it's been a long time, but I really appreciate the people that I just said. I spent two minutes on this. Or more. Um... So, yeah, I really appreciate you guys. Keep going and love your reviews and such. So now we're going to go on to the start of the series of minifigures. And you probably know what this is by the looks of it. It is my own custom minifigure checklist. I have all of them on here. You can check them like next to the number or something. So that's basically my checklist. I put question marks all over the place back of it is just white like that but it's pretty awesome so let's start out with my main figure of this series Croft Studios main guy Hayden Croft that's me this is what I look like basically in Lego and this is the camera that I'm using right now here's how you hold it but I have it on a tripod green pants sweater hoodie right there and there's my glasses uh, there's the hair and that's basically my main figure of the series and I'm going in order actually by the list and I'm really excited that I was able to find these plates for the bottom feet so let's go on to the next minifigure which is the axe monster and he's a crazy minifigure he got infected by an alien and he was a knight but now he's a monster ripped up helmet in the front can see that he's got green arms right there oh, I forgot to move the light I think that's why my review right here is in that bright let me move the light over here and my review will probably be way better now yeah this is way better um dark green arms axe he's got a hat right here and no back burning the next minifigure is the ice sculptor he's a uh, cool minifigure I kind of came up with. He has a diamond right there. It, it's white, but that's supposed to mean it's ice. He's got the chainsaw. A little blood on there. Um, he's got that shirt, smiling face, and a hat. No back printing. The next minifigure is the race car champion. He's got a big trophy right here. That's a... It's hooked on by some stud and a cup. He's got a devilish face and he's got octon shirt and black pants the next minifigure is the space ranger 
I know they kind of made a minifigure like this in Series 7 called the um, Space Marine. Kind of based it off that guy. He's got a crazy face. It's jetpack on the back. Um, he's got a nice gun from Star Wars and nice torso. Next is the Ice God. And he is kind of an interesting figure. He's got icicles hanging. He's got a blue cape. Um, ice all over the place. His head is a light bluish color. And uh, this stuff has purple on it too. No back printing. Next guy, it took me like not even a minute to make. This guy's like a, he's a, he guides airplanes into taking off. He's not very good. Didn't take very long. He does have a back printing though. That kind of makes up for a little bit of it. He's got the lights. Next, I put a lot of detail in this guy and it took me a while to make. The, this is the Elite Soldier. And he's got a bearded face, gun, torso. And these guns are custom ion pistols. Very, it took me like a very long time to make them. Like an hour, I'd have to say. It took me a while. I custom them out, and they look very awesome. The next last guys that I have here aren't as good, but they're still awesome. Next guy's the cameraman. He's got a little bit of a torso. Um, no back printing. He's got poofy hair. Like Harry Potter, even though that's he doesn't have poofy hair. Um, he's got camera right here with the tripod, of course. Oh, I'm very sorry about that. That happens a lot. Um, next is the Samurai Warrior. I kind of copied off another minifigure series for this. I know, but I couldn't think of any more minifigures. It takes a lot of thought to put any of these minifigures. It took me an hour to just make all of them or I think two hours actually just to make all these minifigures and yeah he's pretty cool no back printing the next guy I actually put took a lot of time into which is the undead king he's got a custom face of a skeleton nice staff with a jewel crown I took off that nose part right there um nice drapes and he's got gold, no back printing, and black arms and black hands. Next minifigure, it took, this is the short, uh, most stupid minifigure on the series. It took me like five seconds to make, literally, because I couldn't think of anybody else. The undead soldier. Yeah. Arr! Took me like five seconds to make, literally. Just took a few parts and then put them together. The last few are just okay, except for one of them. He's pretty awesome. There's one of them that's cool. This is the farmer with the shovel and the wrench. Torso and back running. Next is the ninja spy. He's just okay, actually. He's got a happy face, and he's actually got a back face, too, for when he's scared. You can still see the expression through the mask. He's got a nice torso and nice legs. Pretty Next is the bad boy. <laughs> this one actually took a while to get. Um, he's got a nice backpack, long hair, got a mad face, and he's got the um, he's got the little chains on his jeans. And the last minifigure is a female samurai warrior, and she's okay. Not really anything much into her. So yeah, I really appreciate all the reviews that people have made for me comments and stuff so make sure to subscribe everybody and subscribe to all those people that I said I won't be able to put links in the description because it will take too long so yeah look for their channels and yeah they're just awesome people and make sure to subscribe rate and comment